The official record for longest bridge demolition in China goes to a two-mile viaduct in Wuhan. Viaducts are bridge-like structures meant to carry road or railway traffic. They usually feature arches and look like old Roman aqueducts. But the Romans weren't the only ones building these architectural marvels. The Chinese had them, too. What makes the Chinese ones different are the densely populated areas where they're built. The Xuanyang Viaduct in Wuhan was extra tricky to take down. It was surrounded by 100,000 volt wires, 30 gas pipelines, and many residential buildings. Luckily, this demolition crew got all their math right. The viaduct was built in 1997, but came down in May of 2013. You can see where they covered the bridge in cloth wrappings and reinforced the pillars with water-filled bladders. Ideally, the water combines with the dust and prevents it from spreading. That's why you see some demolition crews spraying these projects with water when they explode. According to the BBC, Wuhan took this bridge down to replace it with a six-lane highway that's over three miles long. Demolition of the Ferry Bridge power stations in West Yorkshire, England, began in the summer of 2019. They kicked things off by tearing down a 374-foot cooling tower. 